Hello doctors. So welcome to this recall session of microbiology. And I hope you guys have done well in your examination. Now, first things first, I would like to thank all the doctors who have helped me compile this questionnaire that have come up in this recent 4 June FMG examination. And of course, I really hope you guys understand that we are not going to have like the exact same question or the exact same options. But the whole idea is to get from which topics the questions were asked. So without wasting any more time, let us begin with our first question. The way I'm going to discuss this questions is topic wise. Now first question, myasthenia gravis is an example of which type of hypersensitivity? Now we all know, we have learned it during our lectures. There was this mnemonic called as my blood group is RH positive, where the my stands for myasthenia gravis. In fact, this is one disease which we have discussed in detail as well. What exactly happens in this? There is a generalized muscle relaxation where the person complains of weakness, generalized weakness. We have talked about the ptosis that happens in this, the tensilon test and certain medicines that are used in this. So we know about this topic pretty much in and out. There was another question based on the same. The question was this way. A woman presented to the clinic with complaints of generalized weakness during the evenings generally and the doctor also noticed ptosis in the patient which i've just mentioned ice pack test was positive that means the ice pack you know relieves the ptosis symptoms so this kind of suggests this is myasthenia gravis so basically there were two questions on myasthenia apart from our lectures if you see i've just put down the screenshot of the recent 25 most important mcq discussion that i have done in that, this is the exact thing that we have discussed. Instead of myasthenia, I had asked pernicious anemia. But anyway, this was the topic that have come up in your exam. Next, a female patient presented to the clinic with redness and edema. She informed she got a bee sting after which the symptoms have started. What is the mechanism involved in this reaction? So basically, if you're talking about some insect bites, etc., they might be relating this to the word anaphylaxis. And we all know the insect bites, etc., food poisonings, many of them, they are covered under type 1 hypersensitivity. And again, we know the type 1 hypersensitivity is nothing but IgE mediated. And this is another thing we have discussed in the recent, you know, 25 most important questions. You can see it right here. So I've explained to you about different types of hypersensitivities and you can very clearly see here, right, IgE has been mentioned. All right, so that's about that. The graft rejections that happens within minutes is due to which cells? Now, I'm not sure if this question is correct, but what I could gather from most of the students they have mentioned that they have mentioned the graph rejection as well as some time duration, which was kind of early. So I have picked up on the minutes. If they have mentioned, if this has happened within minutes, you should understand that they're talking about, you know, hyperacute graph rejection. And hyperacute graph rejection is due to the preformed antibodies. And guys, if you talk about antibodies, we all know that antibodies come from B cells. So if you go according to this question, the B cells would be the correct answer. But let's say they did not mention this, if they have mentioned the duration, which was much later, let it be the acute or the chronic, then the T cells are involved. So next topic we will be talking about is the questions from parasitology. Which of the following does not have the cyst stage? Now, first of all, I'm sure you have realized that this question was asked from the protozoa topic. And we have said many protozoa like, you know, Entamoeba, Giardia, Cryptosporidium, etc. They have cyst as the infective stage, right? And I've told you that this guy called as Trichomonas does not have a cyst stage. Cyst stage is absent in Trichomonas. So basically the trophozoid stage is transmitted through the sexual route. So that is the straightforward question. This was you know the question that i have put in my group on telegram as well so you can see the question infective stage of trichomonas is it is trophozoid why because the cyst is absent in that okay and there's also an excerpt from the notes 
where you can see the first line itself tells you there is no cyst stage only trophozoites exist which are sexually transmitted all right next question infection in contact lens users is due to so this is basically a parasitic infection that they have asked that is seen in contact lens users and the answer to this is very straightforward acanthamoeba right in fact you can see here from the notes also acanthamoeba it causes keratitis in contact lens users the next set of questions we are going to discuss would be from mycology which of the following infections are diagnosed by the sclerotic bodies now you all may remember the sclerotic bodies are the ones that have that copper penny appearance right so this is what we have discussed in our class chromoblastomycosis would be the correct answer for that these are the fungi that produces color that's why the name is chromoblastomycosis they produce this wart like lesions and we have mentioned that the bodies that are used in the diagnosis are known as sclerotic bodies or they are also known as medullar bodies which show this copper penny appearance so that's about this question now this question is a repeat question that they have been asking you know in the recent times i believe there were two questions on mycetoma they have mentioned that there was an image that was given and that was hinting towards the mycetoma or there was a description of this image basically that is a oma meaning a swelling that is going to have these sinuses that discharge pus so this triad of mycetoma was given and they have basically asked you to diagnose this infection next a patient with history of recent covid disease developed black lesion near the nose lab diagnosis revealed the causative organism is a fungus what is the drug of choice for this infection that is implicated here in this question so guys i'm sure you all have already diagnosed that this is you know the mucormycosis so i've told you generally for severe fungal infections we tend to go for this drug called as amphotericin b so the correct answer for this is liposomal amphotericin b next question this is the question i could not completely get but from what the students described to me they have said that there was a question where they have described a diabetic patient developing some infection and they told me there were these two fungal infections that were mentioned like aspergillus and mucormycosis now to be honest just based on this much information i won't be able to give you the correct answer but generally generally speaking diabetic patients if they mention probably they are trying to hint toward mucormycosis especially diabetic ketoacidotic patients that is a important risk factor for mucormycosis again i'm not saying that is the correct answer please write in the comments if you guys remember this question and i would need your help even now also whatever the questions i'm showing you right now if you guys remember the correct question or the options please help us you know fill up these things all right so thank you all in advance the next section that we will be discussing would be virology questions first question here which of the following infections need not be tested before a blood transfusion right so in simple words which infection you don't have to screen for before you transfuse somebody's blood right so the correct answer for this is hepatitis a virus whereas for the remaining ones like hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv you all know one of the roots of infection is blood transfusion in these diseases that's why you have to screen these infections next question a child was brought to the hospital with complaints of respiratory infection from a rna virus the virus was found to have hemagglutinin and neuraminidase identify the virus so you guys all probably know that these are the structures that are present in influenza virus in fact if you pay attention the word influenza has flu in the name what are the flus that we know about for example one is bird flu another is swine flu right these are the important ones we all know about and how do you denote them h1n1 h5n1 and these are the h and n over here the h for hemagglutinin and the n for neuraminidase is that clear to all of you another question on the same is which of the following is the reason for antigenic shift if you guys recall we have talked about the antigenic variation that constantly happens in influenza virus and this could happen because of two things called as antigenic drift or antigenic shift 
So they have asked the reason for this antigenic shift and the correct answer is genetic reassortment for this. Point mutation is the reason for antigenic drift, not for the shift. So here it is. This is the topic influenza virus from our notes. As you can see, the first two blanks are about the structure. So hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, that's about that. And then you have these topics called as antigenic shift and antigenic drift. Okay, so these two things. So this is always an important topic that is antigenic variation that was asked in this examination. Next unit of discussion would be bacteriology. A patient is having fever since few days along with neck rigidity. So right here, I'm sure many of you have diagnosed that this could be meningitis. Patient was suspected to have meningitis and LP was performed. The CSF findings were predominantly neutrophils. So guys, I have asked this question to a lot of students and almost all of them said, sir, neutrophils were clearly given in the question. And because the neutrophils were given in the question, right away we should start thinking this is bacterial meningitis. Now to confirm further, right, cloudy CSF, glucose is low. You should all remember bacteria loves glucose and they will consume the glucose making it less. So glucose becomes less, high proteins would also be seen. Gram stain was negative, right? Sometimes what happens is in the CSF sample, we won't be able to detect the organism very clearly. So that's why the gram stain, they have said it was negative. So which of the following correctly matches the description? The correct answer is bacterial meningitis. Let's have a look. In my previous discussion of 25 important questions, you can see pretty much a very similar picture I had given back then, where, you know, you have talked about the glucose and all this, you know, uh, white blood cell count, etc. Where the answer was meningococcus. Meningococcus again is what? It is nothing but a bacteria. Next question, a person who consumed fast food few hours ago presented with symptoms of food poisoning. Which of the following is associated with this presentation? Now the correct answer was Bacillus cereus. And again, this is one topic that we have just discussed in the last 25 important question discussion. You can see right there, soon after this question was discussed, I have highlighted the points how to diagnose which food poisoning depending on which foods they mention, the time duration that they mention, the symptoms that they mention, and I've talked about the Bacillus cereus, Staph aureus, etc. Now, if you can see in this question, because the bakery items custard was mentioned, although the duration is very fast, answer could have been aureus or cereus, but cereus should be chosen if they mention the fast food. Whereas if they mention bakery item, custard, etc., aureus should be the answer. All right. So anyway, watch those videos as well. That will help you consolidate the information. Which of the following does not grow on artificial media? Now, this is again a very straightforward, simple question. So you can see right here, again from our notes, the fill in the blank, what we fill in our notes is exactly that. And here's where we write, it cannot be cultured in the artificial media, right? And we know that there is this organism called as armadillos in which we grow the leprae. All right. Next question. A person who is an IV drug abuser developed an infection. Which is the most probable organism implicated in this? The correct answer is Staph aureus. So guys, again a question. So again a question from the 25 expected questions as you can see here. A question which is pretty much on the similar lines like a 35 year old IV drug abuser, right, presented with all the symptoms, etc., which is again describing endocarditis. Who is the organism over here? The answer is Staph aureus. Staph aureus. Cat scratch disease is caused by. Okay, straightforward Bartonella hensley. Although, yes, it's not one of the frequently tested topics as, as such. But yes, questions like this can show up. And again, this is there in our workbook. The cat scratch disease, it is caused by Bartonella Hensley. Okay, so that's about that. Next question. This you may know as a clinical link between dermatology, microbiology, etc. The condition shown in the image is due to. 
So first of all, they are showing you acne in the image. And this acne is due to the bacteria whose name itself is Propionibacterium acne. All right. So straightforward question again. Next, the drug of choice for Legionnaire's disease. So you should all remember, first of all, who is this agent Legionella? Legionella is that agent that is associated with pneumonia that comes through the air conditioners, ACs. Right. So in simple words, it's more or less of a respiratory disease. And we have learned for respiratory infections, macrolides are one of the good drugs. Right. So who is a macrolide amongst the following? Azithromycin. So azithromycin would be the correct option for this as we have discussed in our classroom. A patient with history of three days of fever and upset GIT presence to the patient. The physician suggests it's my, it might be a typhoid fever. Which test is the best one to be performed right now? So if you notice the history, the history is of three days, three days of fever. So you know in such a short period of time, antibodies couldn't have been formed in the patient already. That means you cannot test for the antibody, which is the test that is detecting the antibody, Vidal test. So you cannot do the Vidal test right now. Why? Because antibodies may not have been formed. It's just three days of history. So the best thing you have to do is blood culture. You know by that mnemonic BASU. BASU according to, you know, which week, which test is the better test. So that's why according to the information that was given, blood culture should be the best answer for this. Which is the most common organism implicated in the burn patient? Again, a very straightforward question they've asked. Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is the most common infection in the burn patients. We have learned that. We have also said it's an oxidase positive agent. Sometimes that hint can be given. So that's that. O157H7 is a serotype of. So this number I've asked you to memorize. This is the serotype of this agent, what we call by the name of EHEC, enterohemorrhagic E. coli. The most common serotype is O157H7. We have learned that this is associated with hemolytic uremic syndrome or hemorrhagic colitis as well. Next, the questions from general microbiology, sterilization and disinfection. Which color bag is used for blood? The answer to this is yellow bag. Next, plastic petri dishes are sterilized by. Now, technically the hot air oven is used for the sterilization of petri dishes. But from what the students told me, this hot air oven was not in the options. So from amongst these options, I would go with ethylene oxide. Okay, you can see a couple of things. So we have said human anatomical waste, which is the bag we have to use, yellow bag. So this is in our notes. Next, hot air oven, as I'm telling you, is the one that is used for the petri dishes. But even the ethylene oxide can be used plastic petri dishes this is the exact word and that is a screenshot from the last minute review the file that i've sent you guys so this should be the most probable correct answer from the given option a sample of a patient having productive cough for a while was cultured on lj media which of the following is a better stain to stain the organism the correct answer to this is acid fast stain i'm sure all of you have marked this correctly now, which of the following is specially seen in the gram-positive organisms, right? The correct answer to this would be tychoic acid. Tychoic acid is a very special structure which is present only in the cell wall of gram-positive organisms, right? Apart from this, the other things can be present in gram-positive or the gram-negatives. So this would be the end of our session. I really hope you guys rectify the mistakes that are there in this, whether it's the question framing or the options, whatever you can contribute. I would be very grateful to you all. I pray that you guys pass with flying colors and send me the good news that you have passed this exam. All right. Thank you very much.